Um, let me go to my chat. Uh, we are back not sure what happened right now it was just my computer going uh, very slow oh okay you saw that we are back yes I was going to say it on the chat let me just say it still yeah my computer got super slow and then uh, it disconnected everything but there we go I will go underground on here because I want this coaster to not really change a lot of the like landscaping. Although maybe the mountains need to be like higher. Or maybe I should say the edges should be higher. Or I need to go lower. Okay, there we go. Now the coaster is there. But can you... Are you outside? I think I am, right? And then I got inside again. Okay, make this one higher. Nice. Okay, this is now looking very good, although I don't, I probably won't be fast enough to go and climb all of that, right? I probably need to use the chains. I will leave it like that, even though I don't know if I will have the speed. And then if I don't have the speed, I will add the chains. I don't want to finish the coaster. But then how am I going to the other side? As I don't make this turn, I go like this. Oh, yes, I'll need to find a way above the path, right? Uh, the path is at level 15. Oh, my goodness. Okay, um, keep on going up then. But that's not high enough.
there we go um, that would be better if it matches the beginning of the narrow landscape right uh, that square right there like this yes okay so what about this although I'll need to add some chains right there I believe but I like this yes it's mixing this coaster that's going to be all crazy because it spins with the sharp edges out of nowhere from the land right so I do like this idea and surprisingly I was able to make a whole straight slope which is this one without a problem so it also looks kind of interesting or it looks good the entrance will be there and also the exit yeah test this out the idea of this coaster for like being here is because those spinning Okay, like I imagined, I'll need to add some chains. But those spinning cars, they remind me of, like, flying saucers. So it was the most fitting coaster model I could get for this area. I will also change those colors of the coaster for sure, don't worry about that. Uh, what about this now? Uh, the circle stairs up the big tower next to the bridge. Uh, which tower? Do you mean the column? I do. I do like this idea. Yeah. I wasn't sure of what doing with the bottom area, but now this was a very good choice. Let's make it abstract. Oh, okay, I need more chains right there. Another good thing about this coaster model is that I don't think it crashes. So it's very safe. Okay, test this again. Actually, I was not able to match what I wanted to match before, like, I'm still missing one square, right? But that's fine, I will leave it like, like this, it's okay. I don't think I can go... Oh, maybe I could go. But then... You know what? I'm not changing it. I, I, I still like th this design, even though I'm missing one square right here. Oh, I'm not! Never mind, the supports are above it, so we're good. Okay, so now which colors should I go for this? As I was thinking about those being like flying saucers, we could either go for green. I mean, green is more for the aliens, right? Flying saucers would probably be like... Gray and blue, I guess. Which colors would you give to flying saucers? Any suggestions? And then the track... I mean, 
I do like this a little bit. The golden saucer. I mean, the the landscape is gold. Cheese yellow. The gold saucer. Should we go for the gold saucer? It could be. Okay, I believe those are good colors for it. Okay, what about the cars? Maybe this extra bright yellow with extra bright orange? No, now this is too flashy, right? Or maybe just super bright yellow? Like this, maybe? Let's make the supports the same color as the... As that. this I like this it's also matching the roller drop right there Also change the color for this wallpaper. Out of those options, which one would be the best one for a alien city? Maybe this gray one or the green? Or maybe the rusty iron edge? Oh my god, this is not too bad. No, I won't go for this one because it's the same of the bridge, right? So maybe this rusty iron one, I like it. So is this good? Should we keep it like this?
Okay, so now that we have this uh, beginning of this area, let's start the city, right? So about this city, something fun we could make is like a... Uh, what is it? Oh yeah, this right here. I was thinking about us using the Swamp Goo. This is very alien-like. Let me save the game again just in case. There we go. Uh, let me see. We could combine the swamp goo with the maze. Maybe mix the maze with the city as well, or is that too much? Maybe we should go for another 3D cinema in here? You wanna go and chill on this park? It sounds a good idea using the swamp goo. It is alien. It is on the wacky witchery decoration pack. But it is quite alien in my opinion, like... It sounds not natural, so... That makes it alien. You know what? I will go for a maze because the maze has that very cool uh, version of it that it can look like glass. So we could go for something around those lines, right? But then this maze, it, it, it should be, at least in my opinion, it, it, it should be one level lower than the rest of the park.
at least I think that's how it's going to look better. But then if if this doesn't work, I change it. This is what I was talking about. We can change the hedges into other things, for example, the ice blocks. Maybe the wooden fences is the one that fits this the most, but I could swear they could have like... a, a, a glass? Decoration or glass walls, but I can't have glass walls. Out of those options, I think this is the best.
Okay, I do like this maze now. It has the supposed uh, alien city plus the the gooey swamp. And then around it, I can go for the rest of the vegetation or like the forest. And in here, I can go for the station parts of it, like this right here. But maybe that should be uh, a bit higher, right? Because it's like an antenna. This looks like a Crash Bandicoot level. That's a very good compliment. I know Victor doesn't like the Crash Bandicoot games though, but I do like them. I I think you were right. There are some modern or like in space based uh, levels in Crash Bandicoot, especially on Crash 3. Okay, now I do like this a lot. The maze with the freaking swamp looks good. And then we make an antenna on this corner. That's going to kind of match the tower or the rural drop, even though the rural drop goes underground. Who knows what lies down there? Oh, I can't get the right edge of this. Man, come on. Okay, there we go. In there we can place the this, right? Maybe something around it as well? Maybe these things? Then we need to find a place for this probe. <coughs> oh yes, the underground entrance, I need to do that later for the roto drop. I still have to work on that. And also the entrance and the exit for the maze, right? Um, I mean, I was planning to place them like next to each other right there. So it's kind of like an easy maze to finish, but... If you decide to go straight forward, then you lose it all. <laughs> you get lost in here forever. The good thing about this is that I'll be able to change the style for the entrance and exit. The one that could look the most... Oh, there is one. Space style entrance. Perfect. Let's even change this one as well. And also this one.
We should also go for some music. Let's let's play the music on the maze. And wait, I can't pick a music for the maze. Sure, go for this coaster then. How is the space style music? Although it's broken down. How far from it are you? Oh my god, he's super far. By the way, I do have another idea for the railroad, but I will work on it later. First of all, I want to finish this island. Uh, this is going to be the space-related part of it, and then this other section will be the Egyptian one. But I did think on something for the railroad during these days. Not sure how is it going to look like, but we'll see. Now I need to wait for the mechanic to get here and fix this coaster so we can test the music. In the meantime, we can go for the decoration of this section right here, right? I can either go for a forest, I was trying that earlier, but I don't know if it's going to fit it better now. Or should we, ju or should we just go for like a metal scrap yard? Or something around those lines. Instead of really going for plants, you know. I mean, the only really alien looking plants that we have here are those. The freaking carnivore plants. But I wish I could turn them. It's random? Okay, so they are random. Yes, we have now a pit of carnivore plants. So please don't fall there. And on the other side of that, I will add more of these things too. Yes. Uh, we could have these lamps.
Maybe that's good? I will leave it like that for now. something right there too, right? Uh, let's have this tower. Okay, this was a very good uh, option. Actually, I think I'm satisfied with my Aiden based city. So maybe now I can start working on the Egyptian part of this. Even though there are more decorations that I can go for this. But I can try. Oh, wait, I still have this section, right? So maybe I can use the rest of the decoration there. Why are we uh, not earning more money? Oh, it's because people are not going to some of my rides. Wait, really? That's not a good price still? Two dollars maybe? Oh man, how much do they want to pay for this? Come on. A dollar? Not even that? Okay, finally. That's too cheap, but it's what we can get. Uh, this one is too expensive indeed. Uh, maybe the car ride as well. Uh, what else? The Enterprise. The haunted house. The mazes now are not getting many people, but come on, they they are most of them are free. Motion simulator. And they scrambled eggs. Regarding those I mean not the scrambled eggs, I'm pretty sure I changed it. Maybe next week, uh, maybe last weekend, right? But I haven't changed some of those thrill and gentle rides that were pretty much on the lake or on the water, like these guys right here. I, I will change them maybe next weekend. So we can try getting more profit from them. Ok, 
Okay, so back to this corner. Is there any other ride that I would like to have on this alien city? The ghost train will be the pyramid thing. I was thinking about the bloodshed coaster, but... I don't know about that. Or, we, you know what, maybe this coaster right here as well, the air part vertical coaster, how is this? Can I have a very short one? Actually, you know a good coaster for this area? A corkscrew steel coaster. And I will show you why. I just need to think where am I placing this station in here? Um, maybe there? It can be there. People will get stuck for some minutes, but I hope that's okay. I want many loops. I mean, not those loops. Yeah, those loops, but can you go uh, to the side? are not really the loops that I was looking for, but sure?
yeah, this is a bit closer to what I wanted, but still not quite exactly it. Oh, we can finally listen to the space theme, right? Because finally they fixed the coaster. This sounds a lot like... Uh, it sounds a lot like the songs that Pilot was mentioning earlier that he listens to to relax, like Donkey Kong Country's Aquatic Ambience and also a Sticker Brush Symphony. But especially like an aquatic music from water levels in Donkey Kong. It is very good. But it, it sounds a lot like the third Donkey Kong Country's game. I forgot how is it called though, like the, the, the song's name. Oh, this actually looks great. And once again, this is not really what I was looking for, but I like how this looks a lot. So I will keep it. And then maybe on this uh, watery section, I can finish this. But can you do this turn banked? I can, there we go. Uh, you, can you go on? Oh, I don't have money. But can I complete this with like a loop that goes up? I can't because of the coaster, right? Yeah. That's fine. I will do it the way I was thinking originally. Which is like just by doing this. Okay, so... If I'm correct, I can have a launched, yeah, the powered launch mode, that's what I was looking for. So, test this out. Oh. Okay, the entrance and the exit, sure. Test this out. Can I... Okay, I can increase the launch speed, there we go. Give it maximum. Maybe that was too much? Can you go back though? Oh no, I can't go back. Alright, so I need to change the model. this you know this spiral to the bottom of the land I like that a lot but I guess I would need to get rid of it no I need to have the look or at least I wish it's there. Then I need a banked turn. 
can you go high? Can you do the... I can't do the freaking tornado. Um... I mean, the banked turn must exist, right? If it's not banked, then this coaster will probably be very, very exciting or very intense. Sure, and then how can I find a way for making you to go uh, high? But then you can be able to return to where you came from. Because if I do if I do it like in here, it's not going to do it, right? This may not be too different from before. Wait a minute, maybe it is. Oh, I actually did it. There we go. Okay. I can stay with this coaster for sure. But can I make it a little bit slower? Is it going to be a problem? And you know what? Because I had this high slope. I kind of wanted to make another slope that's as high as it, but on the other side. So it kind of connects like this, you know, like a triangle. Although, I don't know where I would be placing this second coaster on this other side. But I kind of want to do that. So they both create some sort of portal. I wanna see the results. Oh, there we go. It is extreme. I guess I'll need to drop the speed, right? I don't know how much can I drop the speed and then the coaster will keep on working. But let's see. Yeah, now it's not working. Okay, so we speed this up a little bit more. Like an alien portal as in Stargate. I have never watched Stargate, but you see what I mean? Uh, if I could have a second coaster that has the same slope as this one and then they connect like this. It could be a reference to E.T. as well, like the two fingers. And then past that gate or that portal, we have the Egyptian section right here. With a, It's going to pretty much be a huge pyramid. But then should I leave this coaster like with extreme speed? It is like a good idea, isn't it? And if I make this a uh, green coaster, it gets even better. Man, my mechanics suck. I'll need to do something about them later. Should we keep this extreme? People will not go there. Oh my god, the mechanics. Everybody's busy, look at that. Okay, let's have uh, maybe three more mechanics. Uh, hey, Sensible, welcome. I love your emote right there. <laughs> it's the freaking happy face from the guests of, the, of this game. Yeah, this is an extreme coaster. People will not go there, man. So they won't... Uh, spend those 10 bucks on the coaster, but maybe you have a point. Maybe we can make them to spend those 10 bucks on the toilet. Hmm. 
Yes, I guess. Unfortunately, I'll need to change this coast coaster model because we can't keep it extreme. Extreme won't work. Yeah, I know these guys are getting lost. It's because I'm working on this coaster and then I erase the path, right? <sighs> you know what? Let's see what happens. I will leave it extreme, but I doubt someone will go to it. But sure, uh, test this out again, and let's work on a path, but I doubt it, like, they will not go to it. It's better if I connect it. A little bit more to the left, right? Like here. Yeah, much better. Okay, so now finally those people will be able to go back to the rest of the park. And my extreme coaster is working, but I doubt people will wanna... Oh, now it's ultra extreme! Never mind, it's even worse. Maybe if I drop the speed to 58 or 56, it still works and it doesn't get ultra extreme? Oh no, it's not working, come on. Why is this worse? What have I changed? It was not ultra extreme before. But man, if I could have this coaster operating, that would be so great. Oh, this guy's lost. change this and still keep the idea. Okay, with 58 miles per hour it still works, but it's still going to be very intense, right? Uh, maybe you should change the style for the entrances on those two coasters right there too, into the alien one. It's extreme. Can people still go when it's extreme? I mean, they are going there for some reason. Oh my god. Some people are crazy enough to go into an extreme coaster. Of course, it's not everybody, but look at that, we have a line. The only thing that I'm missing here, though, is the photo section, but...
Let's leave it without a photo section. Okay, I will leave it in there for now since some people are going for it. Now I need to see what is the height for this uh, top of the coaster. Uh, show me height marks on right tracks. That is what? 35? 33 maybe? Thirty-three. There we go. So we need to have another coaster that goes up high to thirty-three as well. Let's try it. Let's go for the same model. Um, again, I don't know where the station of this second coaster could be located at. Huh. Because if I place it like more to the left, that's going to get to the area for the Egyptian decoration, so I kind of don't want it there. Unless it is on the water, I guess it's my only choice. next to the train like this I kind of like that so the previous coaster was all about the loops and half and half loops maybe this coaster could be spirals maybe just like or at least a little bit like the other coaster uh, that's on the other side of the bridge I mean never mind it's going to be different right because this black coaster is more about ups and downs. And then we have the Virginia Reel that goes on the abstract mountain. They all are different, so maybe I could go for this idea of like spirals in here. Uh, helixes, or maybe helixes. Like helix up large. Yes. Yeah, that's your objective. You go like a freaking tornado. Oh, I'm now out of cash. I can still get some more from the bank, although I'll pay that after this. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I'm exaggerating this a little bit. But yeah, the idea was this one. And then we need to match those two, right? I mean, I'm still very far from the from the goal. I don't have money anymore. Jesus, this is expensive. Yeah, this is super expensive. But I'm going for it. I don't care. This is going to be the... How can I call that? The mixer? Coaster? The blender coaster? Uh, but on the other on the other hand, this idea right here it is pushing its limit. Like as you can see it's going to be a very tall uh, spiral looking coaster, while the other coaster on the other side is not too intense or like it's not too Brutal on its idea. It only has a couple loops and that's it. So I wish the green coaster could have had more loops and you know uh, and more corkscrews. Uh, but yeah, I won't be able to manage on the level of this blue coaster now. But that's okay. I could go for a helix up small. And then that could have been more cheap. But it wouldn't look this cool, right? 
But now I have no choice other than waiting for, for more cash. Once again, this is going to be another extreme coaster for sure. But I gotta say, this is looking awesome. This area of the park, at first I was like, what am I doing? But look at this now. Maybe you should decorate this island a little bit more with some gardens or bushes. And then we, in here we have the Fanta world. This area now looks so bad in comparison to the rest of the park, right? Maybe I should think on something else for for when I get back to this part. Yeah, this is the Fanta world. Everything is flashy orange. You know what, once I'm back to this island, which is going to be probably the last thing I will be work working on, uh, we try changing its decoration a little bit. shenanigans could I go for this? Uh, can I mix like small and largest? Oh my god, I can. Oh my god, I can mix those two. I just have a better idea now. Guys, we are mixing the small helixes and, and, and the, largest, the, the large ones. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so good. And by doing this also, we are saving up some money. Oh my god, this looks so good. Right? Let's inception this. Place spirals inside the spirals. And make it the next spiral game for, I don't know, PlayStation 5. Let's freaking go! You were mentioning that... Oh, this area is looking a lot like Crash Bandicoot? Now it's a Spyro, man. It's now Spyro time. Jokes aside and puns aside, I hope someday I can play Spyro myself. Never played that game. Man, this looks so damn good. You see when it's, uh, or maybe I should say, it's when you have problems or trouble, that's where you get or find the best solutions and answers. If I were not lacking on money, I would not think on this. I would like continue building the coaster the same way as I started and then that's it. Now I found a cheaper, better solution. Even though, of course, I still don't think this place will be work. Because the... Powered Launch Mode won't get it this high, right? 
At least I don't think it will. The only awful part about this level is that my rides are not being profitable, and it's because of the amount of time I have been playing it, like 24 hours. So my rides are all old. I'm not sure if I'll be able to continue the, or actually start, uh, start the Egyptian section that I'm thinking. I hope I can, but it's because I got distracted with this new idea. Also, by the way, why? Oh, okay, I see. It's because of. I was thinking to myself, why can't I go lower with this path, like from there, but it's not going to match the the levels for the train, right? Or the entrance. Let me also make that... that wall to look like rusty iron man Okay, can you go now up? But now it's too far, right? It's too far from the other coaster. So it is, this is going to look very weird. It's so far from that. Unless we create... <laughs> We create a third coaster in the center that's going to connect to them both. They, they are going to be the Egyptian gods from Yu-Gi-Oh! We will have the obelisk, then the other one is Lifer, the dragon of the skies or something, and then the third one which is like the, I don't know, godly dragon of Ha. I don't know how are the, their names in English, so I'm guessing it's something around those lines. Honestly, this is not a bad idea, because the blue coaster does remind me of Obelisk. And then the green coaster, it could be red, to match is Lifer. And then I would only need to create a third coaster that's yellow for the Ra, right? I, I wish I knew how were those cards called in English, but the three Egyptian gods of Yu-Gi-Oh! I hope you guys know who I'm talking about. Honestly, I now want to go for that. But I will show you the cards in case you don't know who I'm talking about. Oh yeah, Obelisk the Tor Tormentor or something? Obelisk the Tormentor, there we go, so... That blue coaster right there, the one that I'm building right now, could be a reference to him. Which is this guy. He's like a very tall and buffy... Wait, very tall and buffed, there we go, and buffed... Uh, God, or monster. Then we can go for... Oh, actually, this picture has them three, right? The green coaster I built can go for Slifer, the red card, this guy. 
and then in the middle I create this yellow coaster that goes for the Winged Dragon of Ra, so that's its name. And then his lifer is the Sky Dragon, there we go, so it's Obelisk the Tormentor, the Winged Dragon of Ra, of Ra and his lifer the Sky Dragon. I guess there is no way I'm quitting that idea anymore, because it's so fitting, and it's going to be the perfect introduction to the Egyptian part of this level, so... That's it, it's settled. Once again, it's when you face a problem, like my blue coaster is too far from the green coaster, that we come to the best solution, which is like, let's now make three coasters and reference them to Yu-Gi-Oh! Just like the Shenron coaster right here, which is a reference to Dragon Ball. Perfect! Let's freaking go, although I need more money. Is that on 33? I kind of wish they all could get to 33, that's on 32. 36 now? No, maybe it is on 35 then, but it doesn't show to me. I will stop it right there to see if it's going to work. Uh, hide the... Hide the track. Okay. No, I can't see it now. Uh, just make it like this, a green path. Is the entrance there? Oh, it is in there. Okay, so... Maybe like this? Start with the entrance path. You can go low and then you just go straight ahead until you connect. Yeah, there we go. I mean, you need to go low two times, right? Because it is on the water level. The same goes for this one. Okay, so hopefully they are connecting the, the ride. I think they are. Let's test this out, but... Oh, it's not connecting because I can't see the... Oh, okay, 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 it's an easy fix. There we go. Change this to powdered... Powdered... To powered... Uh, powered launch mode. And show me how far can you get. Get to the top. Okay, so we are making it a bit slow, uh, not slower, a uh, smaller. Maybe there. Um, you make the turn, you make. I mean, now you just need to go high. Okay, this is good. What about this now?
again. It doesn't get to the top. So maybe I need to stop it right there. Now we finally got to the top. So that's the coaster. Let's see how extreme, intense and exciting is it going to be. Any bets? Is this going to be ultra extreme? Actually, that looks good. This is going to be normal or like high. I don't think those numbers. Oh, it's actually low. Okay. I guess that's good, right? Actually, people want to go on something more thrilling than this. But how is this not exciting, you know? Like, it goes on so much speed. But somebody can go there, so you know what? I will keep it, because some few people can still go there. Yeah. It's it's a stain. So let me rename it. Now we have Obelisk the Tormentor. And then I'll need to change the name of this one because this one is going to be Slifer. Slifer the Sky Dragon. And then also the color is now uh, red. You can have the black supports, yes. But then the car. Maybe a black car as well. Black and red. Okay, black and red. Or maybe the opposite, black. I mean, red and black. Okay. In here the car should be, I mean, the support as well, right? The support should be maybe dark blue. Uh, maybe this one. for the support in here. That purple, never mind, I just found it. Now for the car, dark blue, right? Maybe dark blue and black. Okay, we have two Yu-Gi-Oh gods in here. How am I making the the remaining one? As those two were all steel corkscrew coasters, the third one should also be, right? And as I was struggling to find a place to place this station, now I will have a harder time because I was avoiding the center area. 
but once again I think I have no choice. I have the feeling I should change the landscape in there a little bit. Yes, I think I should change it right here. Or don't I need to? Like, can you, can can I place you starting there? Okay, I can. So that's it. So if you went for a coaster full of loops and pretty much loops, right? Like there are the ha the half loops, the yeah, the half loops, but also the whole loops, left and right loops. In here we have the helixes. Maybe this one could be the corkscrew one, right? Although the red coaster also gets a little bit of that. Hmm. Oh, you know what it would be awesome? What if this was a coaster that interacts with the other two? Get out of that now. I just could. Okay, now. I want it to go up.
but then you are on the wrong direction that I want. Maybe if we go right? Yes. I mean, no, never mind. It's still going on the wrong direction. Yeah. Left then? Uh, sure. No, never mind. What about the half loop? Okay, this is closer to what I wanted. Now you need to go high like crazy. So you can get to the red coaster. Oh my god, I freaking did it. Is it matching or is it the camera? Oh my god, it, it freaking matched. It freaking matched. our third coaster now of course the car will never get up there but I mean it can get up there if I use the chains let's see what we have so far oh yeah they always ask me to do that Wait, is that... Oh, it is connecting. Uh, that's not too good. At least not good for the station. Or the entrance station. You know what? Place that on the other side. Uh, Subber is asking me if I use the chains, if it's not going to get... It is going to get stuck, you're right about that. Yeah, I can't go for the chains. Let's see how far can this go. I don't think it's going to get that high, but... Who knows, right? Do I need to go another one down? I need so how is this I mean it is going to get some speed in there never mind this is good uh, this is good It doesn't get exactly as high as I wanted, but sure, it does what its job, or like, it does its job, right? So, how is the intensity? How is everything? Okay, it's a good coaster as well, so we, we have it. Let's make it yellow. In the pyramid idea we go for Exodia, right? We could have the Exodia Ghost Train, what about that? Uh, let's go for... How is it called? The Winged Dragon of Ha? Is that how is it called? The Winged Dragon of Ha, there we go. Oh my god, we have the three Yu-Gi-Oh gods in here too. Man, this looks so good. Save the game. 
Say, I, I'll say this again, I think I mentioned this once. I hardly think we'll be able to make a better park once we reach the last level of this game, the Mega Park. There is no way I'll be able to be better than this, right? Jesus, this is so good. I'm still a little bit upset that I got to some parts of this island that was destined to the pyramid, but it's okay because this is matching the Egyptian idea, but I wish I had it, let's say, uh, more, more clear or more clean. But this was worth. This was so worth. Uh, did I drop the inspection time? No, I need to drop it. And I may get more mechanics in here. At least two more. I should also get four more handymen. And hopefully all of those coasters will help us to profit and then we can finally pay the low one and... You know, stay at a better level or at a better state. So I don't need to keep on returning to the low one every freaking time. Yes, I will give it some time for me to pay this low one. And also to raise some more money to start working on the last part of this island. And while I'm planning and also chatting, we can wait to get that money right there. So the idea for what I'm going to do next is to create a pyramid and I was thinking about a very tall pyramid like almost like a mountain and the pyramid is like five times five pieces of land is that correct or is it six it's six it's six times six okay so before we reach the 6x6, we need to change the landscaping here into a... Into a mountain, pretty much. But in the top, we leave a 6x6 square where we place that pyramid, right? And then around it, we go for the sphinxes or the other Egyptian things. Okay, so how am I shaping this? This is going to ask me a lot of money. You know what? Let's do... S oh, the maze is not open? Come on! Let's leave people to visit the alien town. Honestly, I can't believe the alien city looks better than the modern city. But I should change some things in here later, like... I can add some bushes and gardens and flowers, right? change the landscape again like I can change the the land into something that fits more a city I may do that as well I did that on the village I'm doing that on the on the alien city too so why not right like in here I could change that into sand 
And you know what? Maybe I should do that for sure. So like past. Also, by the way, why is no one coming to the to this coaster? Because people can't get off of it? Wait. Okay, reopen it. Okay, so these two coasters were not helping me out because people were stuck inside of it. Make them a little bit more cheap. Okay, maybe this this will be helpful. Let's change it to sand. The transition will happen in the gate right there. The freaking star gate idea that Sabu said. Oh, that was a mistake. But it's going to look weird, right? That not the whole island has sand. Maybe I should go for the entire island. Like... Starting there. Yes, I'm starting it there. Okay, there we go. Let me save again. Uh, we should also change that later. Uh, maybe to... Maybe the Earth one? What is this one? Oh, this is better, yeah. Okay, now I need money to work on the pyramid. At first I was thinking that I would be mixing the Egyptian decoration with the alien decoration, but now... Uh, now it's better not to mix them both, right? They will be next to each other instead.
probably the path where people will be getting to this um, island is going to start right here. is better. Yeah, that's going to be the starting path. So, the pyramid should be starting right here too, right? Top of it has six times six. The areas around it. How many pieces of land do I have in here? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18. You know what? Let's go for the entire uh, island. Why not? This is going to be like symmetric. This will also need to have 18 pieces of sand, right? So I, I, I'm totally getting the water. But it's fine by me. It, it's okay by me. I will also need to change something about the train, but that's okay. Um, so far we have five, six, seven, I should also raise the rest because it's going to be hard for me to work on them after I go around the whole island. This is reminding me a little bit of when I was a kid and I used it to play with my Lego box. Uh, I used it to build pyramids with my Lego blocks and also together with my sister. It was one of the things used to build the most for some reason. Used to get all of the, let's say, big blocks and of course place them as the base of the pyramid. And then we used it to like make layers with a single color like red, blue, green, white, yellow. And we used it to place the pyramid around the house and then once we wanted to like, I don't know, build something else or 
play Lego in a different way rather than to, uh, of course, destroy it or something, or like, uh, get all of the pieces back. I miss my Lego blocks, by the way. I wish I still had them. Unfortunately, when I was looking for some of my old toys and and items or things that I used to play as a kid here in my parents' house, I couldn't find anything. I used to play more with Lego. Yeah, not Playmobil. A friend of mine had some Playmobil. But I, I had Lego blocks. Playmobil is, is nice. Like, I like how... It looks, but I don't think you can build new things out of Playmobil pieces because Playmobil is more, let's say, permanent. Uh, it's not as changeable or customizable like the Lego blocks. But Playmobil is very good, like, it looks like a great toy or it has a good look. But you can't really. Uh, change the blocks of Playmobil that much to build new and different stuff, like Playmobil toys are more fixed. Of course you can customize the one or another thing, but it's not as much as in LEGO. Also, I think I used it to have more LEGO because Playmobil used it to be more expensive, according to my memory. But then today LEGO is super expensive. If only I knew, right? I should like sell my Lego blocks today. Is there any other solution to what I'm doing that could be cheaper and still look great? Uh, what if we skipped, like, a line, uh, instead of, like, making a very standard pyramid-looking mountain? What if it were, if it, what if it were striped, like, it has a clear line, but then we skip the next row, and then we go for the third one in a, in a good way, is that too strange? I mean, this is the level where we go is strange, right? So maybe... I, I would be saving money by doing that for sure, I just don't know if it's going to look good. to get to this one if my let me count it again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen yeah i need to get to this one like a wall kind of but what I mean is that, for example, I will skip changing this second line, but I will change this one and continue the pyramid. It's like a zebra pyramid, if that makes any sense. It's like Analog Man's from Digimon World, distorted version of a pyramid. You have like one line that looks exact, or like that looks correct. And then it skips one line, the next line, that looks like f um, wrong or flaw. That's what I'm thinking. But I don't know if that's going to look good. This external section will look a lot like a wall for sure. And there are castle and medieval decoration, but... I just don't know how much fitting would that be to... Oh my god, I had those? What? Those are perfect houses to the village right here. Okay, maybe later we go back to the village and then we add some of those things right there. Uh, 
uh, what is the height right there? Oh, on land. It's 15. Okay, so I need to raise this up to 15. Right there. I mean, if I go f into this idea that I'm saying, maybe this could have been like a, like the ruins of a pyramid, as it will look a little bit incomplete. For example, if I wanted, I could leave this gap right here, and continue around it, you know? Like some sort of ruins. Now I think I like this idea a little bit more, or, or I can like create flaws, like there, there, there could be a two-section hole right there as well. And then we could maybe make some new rides on those flaws, or holes, or gaps. Or defects. Like I can skip those three blocks right there and continue it from this one. that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 is this one? Really it's not the last? It is not the last. Yeah, that's the, the that's where I stop. I need to remember to create the path for the rural drop as well. But I think I'll leave that for maybe next stream. We could also not complete the pyramid. Maybe it can just have a wall like we have right now. So this one, I, I don't know if I'll be able to make this right, but it's going to be there, I guess. I, 
I know now that it's one block to the frontier. So I just need to get this line correct. Even though I'm I'm not feeling confident. Wait, it's the Oh no, they they changed the Is it this one? You know what? Let's go with paths. That's safer. Okay, that's where I need to stop. Uh, this one right here. Okay, thank you very much. Wait, this is wrong. I'm missing. No, no, no. It's in the. It's in this one. Yeah, I got one wrong, even with the path. So, Subaru, do you have a suggestion for this? Should we complete it? Should we not complete it? Let's suppose I don't complete it. How am I placing the pyramid then? What if the pyramids were like at the corners? Instead of having a central one on the top? Yeah, the original idea was not for it to be like ruins, but maybe it's not a bad idea. The original idea was to really uh, fill it up and, you know, com make change this whole landscape to the to the top. And then when we have um, was it six times six? Yeah, six times six is square. We place that pyramid on the top, you know, so it would be a huge pyramid. But then now I'm not sure anymore. We finally got to 6,000 of right tickets. But I do think we'll need to finish this like next uh, next stream. It is starting to get late. I do want to go check on the Olympic Games still. And maybe in the time between I can think on which direction to go. But maybe the ruins idea could be better than the, you know, closing this.
this wall looks great. So maybe you should keep it like this. And then we find a way uh, around it. Isn't there a Xenogear city that has a wall like this? Or am I crazy? I know there is a Xenogear city that goes on the desert, I'm thinking on it. But I had the feeling it had a wall as well, but maybe I'm wrong. The other thing I was saying was if we were like skipping one line and continuing it like like that. Would that look very weird? Honestly, maybe that would look very cool actually. And then we could have some other, uh, let's say, gaps in those other uh, sections as well. It would end up looking like a maze. But aren't pyramids all supposed to be like mazes? Or like something full of traps? The main ride for this part is the ghost train, so... It's funny that both trains will be connected, the ghost train and the normal train. And then maybe, okay, maybe this can work. Maybe we can mix both ideas. We make this mountain with those gaps to look like ruins. But then in the center, we leave it with a square of 6x6 six six where we place the freaking pyramid. What about that? Then we can have the two ideas working together. Wait, is that right? Oh, that was not right, right? What have I done? Oh, okay, I got... I think it's fixed now. I need to get... This one, I guess? Yes, it's this one. Let's see what is the outcome of this. If we mix them both. Oh man, look at this. It's funny how it started on a completely different way than the rest of the park. I 
I'm working a lot on this pyramid idea, but then I will need to work like the same way for the volcano idea, right? That's going to be matched with the mini golf. And maybe with the chairlift as well. We could have like a chairlift station that brings people from the bottom to the top of the... Wait, what if the chairlift was connected to this area too? Because they both will be kind of high. I could think about that too, like a chairlift that goes from the ruins of the pyramid to the mountain. I also have another idea for the train, but... I'm not sure how am I doing it or if I'm doing it. But then right now, since I'm messing with this side of the land, my idea for the train would need to happen on that side of the land. I don't know. Okay, so let's keep on lifting those. Oh, I got it wrong again. Yeah, this is the bad part about this. It's this one. I think I will save this for next weekend. It is already midnight and this is going to take a long time and then maybe next weekend once I'm starting the stream I will have a lot of things to talk about and then while I'm chatting I'm getting money so you know we can finish this faster maybe because right now it's taking a lot of time for me to get to some cash to work on this. Let's save it for next Saturday, right? Even though I, I'm curious to see the result of, of this. And also today I kind of felt very creative on what I did in here, even though it took some time. So I kind of wish I could keep, keep that creativity flowing. Hopefully next weekend I will be creative as well. I think I will. I, I come up with ideas every freaking time. But yes, I think it's the best decision for me to stop in here because this won't be finished tonight. So let me save the game. Man, I'm really loving this level. Or at least I'm enjoying what I'm doing now than how I started it. Even though this is also looking great, but this third island with the after that bridge. This got to another level, maybe because we focused on coasters, like... We were only having a single coaster in here for a, a lot of time. Anyway, uh, let me save this. I, I mean, I think I just saved, but I will do it again just for, for safety. Quit the game. Go back to my OBS. Okay, there we go. So thank you so much everybody for stopping by, I hope you guys can have a great night of sleep. I'm out for the Olympic Games and also to eat something for dinner. Tomorrow we'll be back with Digimon World. Uh, what am I doing in Digimon? I think I'm starting a new cycle if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I think I'm going for Kunemon. But we'll see how that cycle is going to be like, hopefully better than the previous one that was very depressing. But at the very least we fought Analog Man again, so we did that. Anyway, we are back on next Saturday with this game, tomorrow Digimon World. Have a great night, take care, and goodbye.